Parenting a homeschooler is like the best blessing you could ever have and whatever's best for you and your family is what you should go for. You should never be intimidated by other women. Just be who you are and be your family, be you, because it's awesome. Today we are gonna look at the top best homeschool curriculums for elementary school. Well, they're my favorite curriculums, which makes them the best. But I'm not the only one that has an opinion because this is a collaboration that's brought together by Megan from Pennies and Salt. Go ahead and check out her channel down in the description box below and make sure to leave a comment. Give her a little flower emoji so she knows it's from me. However, if this is your first year teaching, this is just my suggestion, is that it's overwhelming. Homeschooling is overwhelming because now all of a sudden you're taking on that responsibility of educating your child. Please don't freak out. It's not that scary. And if you are overwhelmed, you can go ahead and get one of those big packets of curriculum that has all of the subjects included. Some of those are like Sunlight and Bookshark. Both of those are really great curriculums. And one that I really, really like is called My Father's World. Bookshark is secular and I know Sunlight is its counterpart and it is Christian based. Now, what I usually tell my families that I work with, go ahead, if it's overwhelming, use those big packets, and while you're using that, go ahead and start doing some research on other curriculums out there. However, you may totally fall in love with what you originally picked, and if you do, go for it, stick with it, totally cool. And if you know of any other curriculums like that, go ahead and leave those down in the comment section down below. I want this video to be a place where people can go and research and get ideas, so fill up that comment section with some ideas. My name is Leilani and this is our channel Living with Eve. Yeah, I'm a parent, I'm a homeschool mom first, but I used to be a former teacher. I do homeschool evaluations and I am an educator. My style of homeschool teaching is eclectic, which means I pick and choose from all over the place, but I do have a bulk of Charlotte Mason, a splash of classical, and a pinch of unit studies. And if you think I should make a video, let me know in the comment section down below on what these styles are and I'll go ahead and stick it up right there in the link. If not, you know what, I have friends that have already done that and I'll just stick one up there too and you can totally check them out because my friends are pretty awesome. So I'm gonna first start with my top pick for math, which is making math meaningful. It's not the type of sit down and do worksheets after a long lecture. It's very hands-on, very gentle. I made a whole video about it. I'm sticking that up in the cards above. You totally check it out. Love this curriculum, and guess what? It will make your kid like math. However, I will say, if you do have a kid that's gifted or very, very advanced, that curriculum might not work for them, and you might wanna look at some other things like Singapore math or Math Mammoth. But this, seriously, is my hidden gem, and I did all my kids with this, and I will plan on using this for my daughter who has Down syndrome when she's old enough, because it's an awesome curriculum. Next is good old Geography Matters. I love this company, and this one, Galloping the Globe, is totally a unit study for kids. Essentially, you can just put away everything and just pull this out and do only this for preschool or kindergarten or first grade or second grade. I mean, you want, you know, you might want to add some math in there and, and some reading and phonics, but this could be your spine. Literature, language arts, science experiments in this book. There's science experiments in this book. You can make a volcano erupt when you're in, you know, not when you're in Great Britain because they don't, do they have volcanoes? In, they don't have volcanoes in Great Britain. What do they have in Great Britain? Is that making cheese? No, that's the Netherlands. You make cheese when you study the Netherlands. Well, you go, you go on a safari in Africa. Well, not a real one, like a pretend safari. Oh, they have sheep in Great Britain. Sheep, not volcanoes. There's volcanoes in Mexico. They even have a Christmas section you can use during the holidays and some cute little word searches and puzzles that the little guys can do. I love this curriculum. You can use it for all the kids at the same time and you know what, they learn geography and you learn about volcanoes. For science, I absolutely love Apologia. I have all the books of Apologia. I teach at homeschool co-op using Apologia, but then one day I found this curriculum and it's awesome. I don't have a video on this, but I should make one on this. This is a unit study on nutrition, and it's going to teach all kids from kindergarten to high school. It's very in-depth. It teaches new ideas that I've never seen taught before in a nutrition book, such as vaccination. It goes into that. 
It goes into whether or not milk is good for you, it talks about different types of grains, microwaves, it talks about pesticides, household chemicals, it even gets into essential oils, different recipes, and the purpose of each and every one of your organs. So you get a little bit of anatomy in here. Very in depth. Nutrition 101, Choosing Life. This was an amazing buy, and even though I used it once, I'm probably gonna use it again. Actually, I will, because I'm probably teaching it at the co-op again. <laughs> I <laughs> love this curriculum. This is my splash of classical education. I cannot get away from IEW. You either love it or you hate it. I love it. My son loves it. It brings together all the different types of studies within the whole umbrella language arts. You have your spelling, your grammar, vocabulary, creative writing, sentence structure, punctuation, and not only are you reading really, really good literature, analyzing it, breaking it down into a keyword outline, then speaking it, there's chances for public speaking in there, and then rewriting it, Okay, that in of itself is just really best practices. Learning from the masters. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it could get any better than this, in my opinion. I also love how IEW themes their writing lesson books. So this one that my son is working through is all things fun and fascinating. I know they have one about people in your community as well as a Bible hero book. I know they have one on Lion, Witch in the Wardrobe. I mean, it's just amazing. And it goes from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. And I also used IEW to teach my kids how to read and write. I really did like it. They taught poetry. It was just, to me, I love it. I don't know. It's just, my kids love it too. That's the important part. My kids love it. For history, I know it's kind of old school, but I totally love them. It is Truth Quest. We are on our third book and I think we've been doing it for four years. And what's so nice about these is that I don't feel rushed. It's extremely flexible. It is Charlotte Mason, so you are reading a lot of real books to your kids. You were doing an interactive notebook. I, I couldn't ask for anything better. It's also Christian-based, which is a huge, huge plus when you're studying history. I do have a video on this, and you can totally check it out up there in the cards up above. I do have some other videos on it, and they're all kind of linked together, so make sure to check them out if you're interested in this curriculum. So those are my top best homeschool curriculums that I really think are my favorite and I think are the best. I'll go ahead and write those down in the description box below. Until then, here's my Truth Quest video if you want to learn more about that or make math meaningful because I do have another one on that. And I have a mapping activity that we did that was inspired by Truth Quest. So totally check those out and thank you guys for stopping by. Don't forget to check those ladies out too. See you later. Bye.